Today I will be attempting to make a track in the style of Sigurd Ros. Sigurd Ros, they are an Icelandic band formed in Reykjavik in 1994. The name means Victory Rose in Icelandic, and their music is often described as ethereal, atmospheric and otherworldly. We will first make the track, I will break it down and see what kind of elements I have included. And then I will, just for fun, ask Artificial Intelligence how their next few album covers will look. So that's going to be interesting. And at the end we will have a listen to the track that we have created uh, to see how much it resembles the sounds of Sigurd Ros. And I started with this sample that I found on Loop Cloud that kind of gives this kind of Sigurd Ros style vibe. And then I created a track around it. The first thing I did was to add a delay and a reverb to this sample and then I reversed it and this is what it sounds like. And this works as an intro into the track so it goes on for quite a while. I added a few effects to go on top, just some simple effects. And some vocal effects on top of that. Just to make some kind of atmosphere. The next thing I added was this kind of synth that goes into a low filter. So a gateway uh, during this long note. And a very simple riser to go from the intro into the main track. With some delay and some reverb. And then as the main track or the main part of the melody starts, I added a bass that is kind of like what you have in some of the Sigur Rós songs. And I also duplicated this, uh, this sample. And I just put it one octave down. And for this main part, I also had this synth. And you can hear that this second note is actually making a kind of disharmon harmony, disharmony, but I think that goes well with the track in general. And later I added a simple arpeggio uh, on a piano. Let's have a listen to that. And I had a high frequency cutoff that I'm slowly removing with this automation. And then I added some percussion. And I started by reversing the kick so that it goes into the other kick. And for this third kick, I pitched it slightly down to better go with the bass. I also sidechained the bass on this part when the kicks come in, just to free up some space for the kicks. 
For the main segment, I added a simple piano melody. And added quite a few effects on the pianos, so you get some kind of artifacts on the sound as well. Uh, we can have a quick look at the different settings I added on the mixer. So I have the Ozone Imager, a Fruity Panomatic, just to split the two pianos into two segments. So we have one on the left side and one on the right side. And on the second piano I have some Camel Crusher. Also an imager as well, and the panomatic going to the right. So listening to the pianos by themselves, it is like this. And the idea is to try to make the piano sound wide in the mix. So you have two different piano styles playing on each side and also some distortions to make them uh, more separated in the mix. Before listening to the final result, I went to Mid Journey just for fun to see how it would imagine the next album covers for Sigurd Roos. So I asked it for a new album cover art for Sigurd Roos, so we can look at the new cover art while we also listen to the result of the track we just created. So that was it for this week's tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed the creative process and if you would like to see some other artists or genres then leave a comment and I will see you in the next one. Take care.